Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, GE's new Catalyst turboprop engine takes flight. Also, Virgin Galactic cleared for flight. And fighter jets deployed following a Cessna entering restricted airspace. Happy Friday, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode for you ahead of the weekend, so let's go ahead and start with GE's new Catalyst turboprop engine takes flight. GE's new clean sheet turboprop engine broke new ground on Thursday, making its first successful flight on a King Air testbed. Flying out of Berlin Airport, the one hour and 40 minute flight added another important milestone to the design's continued development. To date, 16 test engines have racked up more than 2,600 hours of operation in ground tests and appear on track to continue a streak of promising performances. Dubbed Catalyst, the engine will find its first home in launch customer Textron's Denali for further testing. This is exciting news for aviation enthusiasts, being the first turboprop designed from scratch to reach the market in more than 50 years. The legendary Pratt & Whitney PT-6, the Catalyst Prime competition, completed its equivalent first flight on May 30th, 1961. Since then, engineers have found it increasingly difficult to extract more performance out of less fuel with each passing year. These diminishing returns prompted GE to approach the drawing table and build the next generation's power plant. Development of the Catalyst continues with additional flight testing in the single-engine Cessna Denali and the Beechcraft King Air, with certification hopefully achieved in 2023. After the break, young St. Jude patients still talking about Inspiration4. More news after these messages. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Young St. Jude patients still talking about space chat. The call of a lifetime took place on September 16th between four astronauts flying through space and children back on Earth who are being treated for cancer and other diseases at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. St. Jude physician assistant Haley Arsenault was on board the spacecraft, answering the kids' questions. Haley is a childhood cancer survivor herself, giving hope to those who really need it. During the Q&A, a wide variety of topics were covered. Blue Angels, Thunderbirds, and Snowbirds make rare joint air show appearance. After a 2020 hiatus, this year's Pacific Air Show is back in its sunny Southern California home, starting this weekend. For only the second time in history, three of the world's best jet demonstration teams will make an appearance together, the USAF Thunderbirds, the U.S. Navy Blue Angels, and the Canadian Forces Snowbirds will perform alongside an expansive slate of exhibition aircraft as they perform for their 75th anniversary with their Canadian competitors celebrating their 50th. New details available in New Mexico's fatal hot air balloon crash. 
At the end of June, a hot air balloon ride killed five people when it struck a power line before crashing into a busy street. The NTSB has not ruled what caused the crash, but the Federal Aviation Administration has recently released information that shows that the pilot had marijuana and cocaine in his system at the time of the crash that killed him and all four of his passengers. The family of the passengers have filed a lawsuit against the estate of the deceased pilot and the companies that operated the commercial balloon company. For those of you who flew on United Airlines and were stuck on a plane for hours, well, it's payback time. United Airlines has been fined $1.9 million for over 25 flights where the plane sat on the ground for several hours, which is the largest fine imposed by the government for such long delays. The Transportation Department said that due to the events which occurred between December 2015 and February 2021, more than 3,200 passengers were confined without being given a chance to exit the plane. United said most of the delays were caused by severe weather when the airline is concentrating on making sure that planes land safely. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. After several weeks, Virgin Galactic cleared for flight. Virgin Galactic has announced the outcome of an FAA inquiry into an airspace deviation during the Unity 22 test flight on July 11th. The FAA has accepted the company's proposed corrective actions to prevent future issues during the aircraft's re-entry phase. The next test flight, Unity 23, is expected to take flight mid-October in conjunction with the Italian Air Force. The inquiry began in response to Unity 22's momentary airspace incursion during the re-entry phase of its July flight. Unity 22 was the the overhyped mission that allowed Richard Branson to finally take a flight aboard the space plane. During its glide back to Earth, the aircraft deviated below its protected approach path for 1 minute and 40 seconds before stabilizing again within protected airspace. Virgin Galactic's proposed changes to its operating standards and mission conduct have successfully addressed the FAA's concerns. They plan to update approach calculations with increased airspace margins to expand the safety buffer for future flights as well as changes to better integrate communication with FAA air traffic control throughout the extended approach. After these messages, fighter jets deployed after a Cessna enters restricted airspace. Those details after the break. Aviation safety resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. SkyLeader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, SkyLeader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. SkyLeader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Talk about learning a lesson the hard way. A U.S. Army soldier and his instructor were escorted out of restricted airspace last week by U.S. fighter jets over New York City. They were violating it without knowing a TFR put in place for the duration of the United Nations General Assembly. The Army instructor and student flew a Cessna 182 owned by the U.S. Military Academy at West Point momentarily into the TFR area over the Hudson River. The fighter jets were deployed following the initial radio calls to the pilot going unanswered. Officials state there was no threat. F-16 aircraft from the 187th Fighter Wing of the Alabama Air National Guard, which were on 
temporary duty providing air patrols for the event, intercepted the Cessna. The fighter aircraft flew over the Cessna and signaled to the plane to land by dropping its gear. NORAD fighter aircraft responded to an incident involving a small single-engine general aviation aircraft near New York City at approximately 2 p.m., a North American Aerospace Defense Command spokesperson said. The small single-engine general aviation landed safely at approximately 2.30 in the afternoon. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air and User Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.